Neo. Oil spills. Exxon Valdez, Erica, Prestige. These names have become part of our collective memory and bring back images of dying fish and natural landscapes blackened by oil spills. They form part of the sad history of oil tanker accidents, which occasionally occur in our planet's seas and oceans, causing huge environmental disasters to the surrounding areas. The latest of these accidents took place in South Korea. On the 7th of December, 2007, the Hong Kong oil tanker Hebei Spirit spilled almost 11,000 tons of crude oil into the Yellow Sea. The accident happened in the vicinity of the Tainhain National Park, an area popular with tourists and home to an important fishing community, whose income depends on the oyster farms grown there. At the request of South Korean authorities, researchers from ICTA, the Institute of Environmental Science and Technology at Universitat Autónoma de Barcelona, traveled to the site to collaborate in setting up a scientific program to monitor the progress of the oil spill. The local government of the um, area where that was affected by the spill of the um, Hebei Spirit asked ICTA, through its director, to, uh, to travel to Korea to give them some sort of advice about what uh, could be done to minimize the impact of the spill in the short term and to give them advice on uh, what we could do what could be done in the long term um, to follow the spill and to understand the impact of the, the spill on the marine environment, on the marine resources, the ecosystems, and also its long-term uh, socioeconomical consequences. ICTA researchers, who in 2002 studied the impact of the prestige oil spill off the coast of Galicia, gathered samples of the crude oil to analyze its physical and chemical properties and to learn how the spill will affect animals and plants. They also gathered information on the environmental conditions before the spill and analyzed regions which had not yet been affected. This work is essential in order to monitor the environmental impact and assess the ecosystem's recovery process. ICTA researchers will work in close collaboration with South Korean scientists during the next five years to study the evolution and recovery of the area.